Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another video review. I switched formats a little bit, so hopefully you like this one. I'm changing a little bit, but if you noticed last time we were talking about the iPhone 6 Plus, maybe you didn't. If you want to, rewind my last video and you'll see a nice little video for this. However, like I was saying in that last video, I really do like cases, and uh, I really want to make sure that I have a good, strong case, obviously, for my iPhone 6 Plus. It's thin, it's lightweight fairly lightweight. I guess it's a, it's a huge phone, to be honest. So, uh, however, there are some occurrences from my last, when I shot my, my actual iPhone 6 Plus review, uh, there are some uh, occurrences out there, supposedly, of people putting in their front pocket and over stress in their front pocket actually bending the phone. Now, mine doesn't seem to be bent as of yet. But I do keep it in my front pocket, and I have kept it in my front pocket even while driving, things like that. So, however, I keep it in a case. So, a uh, case is going to add a little more rigidity to it, and of course, the stronger the case, the more rigidity it's going to add. Uh, I have uh, the Modal, uh, or in this case, the Modal's ca uh, case for the iPhone 6 Plus. Uh, it's uh, a Best Buy brand, so that's one of their fancy cases. And in this case, we're going to open it up and it's just a simple um, silicone and hard plastic uh, case nothing fancy to it to be honest uh, really nice soft silicone to protect it give it a little bounce protection on the edges it does wrap around all corners and then there is some rigidity extra rigidity within the uh, the skeleton as it were as well so um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll, just, I'll put it on there and show you how it goes on um, pretty simple, obviously. It's nice and soft, so I would make sure that your phone's fairly clean before you put it in here because any little piece of dirt or whatever that's going to get in here is going to rub against it pretty well. Uh, just, you know, wrap it around all four corners. Once you get it wrapped around, uh, then you just take the plastic shell. Uh, make sure you have it the right way with the camera, or where the camera's supposed to go. Um, and then it just wraps around all four corners in this case. And voila. And they do have a little piece that goes through and lines it up real good. Make sure you do that. Uh, in this case, um, there is some, uh, some rubberiness to it because it is a soft silicone type case. Uh, as you can see here, uh, it's very soft around the edges. In the corners it's firm, but around, top, things like that. You can obviously... It, it would be a spot where you could get dirt, would be maybe the best way to put it. Uh, dirt could work its way back there, and so you may want to clean it out every so often. However, really good grip to it. Uh, they left it open on the edges because it has such good grip. Now, it's going to slide pretty good, except for it does have that one little exposed spot there that probably would slow it down significantly uh, if you go into the slide type tests. But the grip around the edges, you know, for grabbing it on with your hand, it grips really good. It actually feels a lot better than I would have thought when I actually purchased it. Uh, on my last iPhone 5, I had the Otterbox Symmetry case, which I actually did like. Little thick for my case. And in my, in all reality, this, the edge that's on here, the edge that's on right here, it's a little more raised than I personally like. But, with that said, for the amount of money it would cost you, um, in this case, I believe this case is running $24.99, um, the cost associated with it, as well as how well it looks, how well it feels, you know, three and a half, four, four out of five, to be honest. I mean, it feels really good. It's good. It's not bad for the value, to be honest. It's not bad at all. Um, and uh, it protects the protruding camera. You know, I'm, when I bought it, there was not a whole lot of cases on the market, but I'm happy I bought this one. And to that end, I won't be taking it back. I like it. There's nothing wrong with it. So uh, that is my review of the Modal case for the iPhone 6 Plus. So hope you liked it. Comment below. Subscribe above. Let me know what you think of next for maybe a possible accessory re review in the future for the iPhone 6 Plus. I have more reviews coming, so hopefully it gets more done soon. Thanks for watching, as always.